All right, everybody. So speaking from experience, these are some things that you should watch out for if you're planning on buying a brand new bike under the age of 21. And mind you, I've only had this bike for like two or three months. So first things first, right? You're gonna be looking on the internet for your dream bike, right? You're gonna be scrolling and the first thing that you're gonna look at is the price, right? One of the first things you're gonna look at. And so I don't know how many people do this, but this is what I did. I looked at the MSRP price of the bike and I thought that that's what I was gonna pay initially for the entire thing, right? I was completely wrong because by law, dealerships are not required to sell a motorcycle at the price of the MSRP they have the power to sell it for less or more if they're trying to make more profit for me I got this 2023 Yamaha R3 MSRP was 5,000 something and the total ended up coming up to 8,000 and so that's what I'm paying for it now so I would suggest not to stick so much to the msrp price and you know ask around call the dealership up and ask them what is the full price that you're gonna have to pay for the bike next thing is that if you are financing a motorcycle through a bank you need to make sure this bank is going to require you to do full coverage insurance on your motorcycle this is something that I urge all of you guys to check because some banks will require you to do full coverage on your motorcycle especially if it's being financed and especially if it's brand new so keep that in mind do you do your guys' research because this is something that your dealer is not going to tell you please 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 do your guys' research and ask questions because if you guys end up buying a brand new bike and the bank requires you to get full coverage on it you're gonna have to pay loads of money for that and if you cannot keep up with your payments they're gonna take your bike away and guys when i say loads of money we're talking up in the 300s of payments every month for full coverage and you know some of you guys may be able to afford that but you know if, if you're under 21 most of us we're not going to be able to so just watch out for that another thing that i want to make you guys aware of is if you are buying a high power bike and you are under the age of 21 it is going to be extremely difficult to try to get someone to insure you because a lot of these insurance companies are not willing to insure underage drivers who are managing a high power bike like this even if you have a license even if the dealership let you buy the bike it doesn't matter i've been calling around a lot of insurance places and a lot of these places have told me that they're not willing to insure me at least 10 of the places that i called told me the same thing uh just letting you guys know that it will be difficult but it's not impossible because some places will be willing to insure you but here's the catch right the prices are going to be extremely high so for a lot of these insurance companies what they're going to offer is like 150 dollars down payment and 349 dollars a month this is the bike i bought at the age of 20 and this has been my experience so good luck to you guys out there and ride safe